hope we are all well. It's my little cute workout outfit. So, right, today, overall, I probably will be traveling eight hours to just like get to meet in. So for example, I had to go to London for a work meeting and then later tonight, it doesn't make sense to travel back to Wales to then travel to Blackpool the day after, that would just wipe me out. So after the meeting, then I'm gonna travel to Blackpool. And I'm hitting the gym now because if I do not hit the gym, it's very easy then to probably like go a bit into depression a little bit, start being a bit bitter about my job. It happens, I see consultants doing it sometimes. So it's all about time management and creating time. So what I've done in order to be able, because it's like nearly 10 o'clock, what I've done in order to be able to like create this opportunity, obviously I'm spending eight hours of my day traveling and I'm like, okay, later on I'll use that time, that four hour commute later to do like workshop prep. But then I've also, anyone that's dependent on me, uh, because I'm doing the workshop with them, I said to them yesterday, I was like, okay, is there anything you need from me? Okay, we've done this, can you review it? Blah, 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 that's fine. Don't need anything from me, so that's sorted. I've done my emails, and then for my other project, I've talked to my project manager, I'm like, okay, um, I'll use this as a priority now, doing these training materials, this quality bit, uh, because there's no direct phase, can we put it onto later? You know, agreed with the priorities, uh, with my um, lead, so with my counterpart, I was just like, okay, so if I take full, you know, pretty much do all the training, uh, use this document you've given me. Can you do this? Uh, because because I'm offshore, it's hard to kind of like work with um, the client face to face, you know. Uh, so I was just like, I've given you all these notes. Can you take ownership of that? And then I can take ownership of this, and then it all works out well. So that's how I've managed to fit the time in. I feel good. And this morning on the train, I was just like, because I'm like quite last minute planner. I wrote down like step by step of what I need to do for my workshop. Literally like get this data sorted, do this, do this. And then all those little questions like, what train station do I need to be at? Where's the work meeting at? So to save me running around like a headless chicken. And then I even fitted in like a 45 minute nap. So you can't just be like, okay, well I'm traveling all this today. And then you just give up your health. Because honestly, your mindset is everything. You need to really focus on like keeping those endorphins going being grateful about the opportunity and you chose this lifestyle and you chose the career of it. So like, you know, like late tonight, well, I'm gonna like go into the Hampton. Like, it's not the nicest for Hilton's, but like, damn, you know, it's like, yes. And I've checked, they've got a 24 hour gym and they've got, um, you know, room service 24 hours. So then I can even like get a bit of food later on. So that's how I've like managed my day by just doing that. Um, and then I'm like, okay, I go to bed, obviously, you know, I'll get there, maybe like half 10 at night. So I'm like, okay, go to bed at 11, wake up at half seven, because obviously for me, traveling knocks me out. So I'm like, okay, I need to get all the sleep. So that's how I've managed that. So I've managed, as you can tell, I've talked to my project manager, I've managed my workload because I finished last night at eight. So it's just kind of like getting it all together, planning, because if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail, okay? I hope it really helps. Um, I hope that, you know, obviously if you're trying to balance like different workloads that you understand that you're a priority and that honestly, like you'll want to give more. Like, so for example, even then from when I traveled Blackpool, I go travel to like Bristol the day after. So it's a lot of traveling, but it'll be completely worth it. And then I've sorted my workload out perfectly. So it makes you feel good and then you can do stuff like this guilt-free and keep yourself on point because it's so vital to make sure that you fit that time in, you know, for yourself as well, but also that you even like get all your work down. So what I would say when you probably lack of sleep, get like, so you're preparing for a workshop. It's like, okay, go through the PowerPoint, feel really comfortable with the PowerPoint. Um, are you doing a demonstration? Okay, if you're doing a demonstration, what data? And like split it out that step by step so you have this list instead of like, you know, sitting there be like, oh, prepare for the workshop. And then you don't really know the steps. So kind of like write all the steps down, then you can tick them off along the way and then you'll feel comfortable because I think that's what it is. When your back's up against the wall and you're a bit more tight on time because you're trying to balance things and with the travel and maybe the wi is not that good on the train, then probably, you know, try and like prepare beforehand to just do stuff offline 
as such before and so for for example now i'm like okay well i've got like four hours spare i'll do all the demo stuff now when i'm connected to the wi-fi then later on i'll just you know i'll just go over the pack and stuff like that i hope it helps um have an amazing day see ya